Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to another video. A video where I have the beach all to myself. So I come to this beach regularly, but it's quite rare that I photograph it, and that's for one reason only, <laughs> and that is other people. <laughs> and that makes me sound like a very antisocial photographer. Uh, but it's true, you come to this beach on any day of the year, and there are hundreds of people all out with their families and dog walkers having a great time. Now the problem with that is it's busy, they leave footprints, I can't film in front of other people, I'm just... Uh, I'm just not made of that stuff, I can't do it. Um, so the only way that I can shoot this beach is by waking up very early in the morning, coming down here and getting it all to myself, which to be honest, is the best way to do photography anyway. So that's the thing with sunrise photography. It's hard, man, it is. You've got to wake up really early. Sometimes you're not rewarded. I would argue that sunrise is the best time to enjoy photography, mainly, because you get places to yourself. You get places that are full of tourists and they're completely empty. And for me, that is, that is by far the number one reason for waking up early. The second reason is you never know what you're gonna get with conditions. In the morning, things are settled, things are atmospheric, the world is just waking up and that can do wonders for conditions. And sadly this morning, <laughs> I was hoping for better conditions. Don't get me wrong, I love nothing more than a foggy day, but not when I'm at the beach. When the beach, I want colour, visibility, a beautiful sunrise, and instead we have a pea soup. Great for the woodlands, not great for the beach. So I'll admit, when I arrived here this morning and I saw the fog, I almost turned around and went back home. <laughs> but then I thought to myself, what am I doing? This fog is beautiful. If I can find foreground interest that just leads off into negative empty space, it's a minimalist dream. So that's what we're doing this morning. The sun might burn through, although I haven't got a watch on. <laughs> although sunrise is now. So um, yeah, it looks like this thick sea fret is gonna be sticking around. So when practicing a bit of minimalist photography and trying to capture that expansive space or that feeling of infinity, it's really important the subjects that you choose and it's actually incredibly more important the subjects you leave out of frame. So you can see this group of rocks just in front of my camera here. That is what we've placed in our frame. That's gonna be our foreground subject. We have nice ripples in the sand, a bit of water kind of snaking off into the distance. And of course that fog that just gives us that view to nothingness, that negative space. Um, and that's it, I'm from here, I'm probably gonna try and get more and more minimal. You know, I'm gonna to start to try and strip away elements. So after I've taken this photograph, move on looking to refine this idea I've got for the images this morning. Now I'm shooting a square composition, which really helps support that feeling of simplicity. Nice straightforward shot for uh, five o'clock this summer's morning. Is it summer? Summer, spring? It doesn't feel like summer, it's flipping freezing. image. You see, when shooting minimalist compositions, it's really important that your composition is absolutely on point, including the balance of your image, because if anything's off, you're going to notice it straight away. And you can see this empty space on the right hand side. That is a mistake on my part that I should have corrected in the field. Now, if I just whack in a couple of cloned rocks into this area, you can see that it gives the image better overall balance. But that's okay, because in this video, it's all about the final image.
And this is such a nice way to enjoy photography. It's so peaceful. I'm just walking up and down this beach. Can't see more than 200 meters in front of me. There's not another person around. And I just lose myself in looking for compositions. And one that I've seen here, which is almost certainly man-made. <laughs> it looks like someone's had a lot of fun with some stones and tried to build a dam wall at some point. But for me, it's just made a beautiful compositional element within this frame. We've got a line of stones on the edge of this tidal pool, with then this solitary stone out in the middle of the pool, you know, with the, with the sea fret and the open beach with no footprints. It makes for quite a nice image. Um, and I love this man, minimalist photography, you can't beat it. <laughs> I think I'm going to call this video <laughs> the art of shooting nothing or something like that because that's what it feels like I'm doing but I'm just really drawn to these open spaces. I'm switching my six stop filter for a 10 stop filter just to give me a much longer exposure to soften these waves which really is the only hard edge in this frame. So ISO 200 that's giving me a 60 second exposure at f9. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that image. Yeah. <laughs> I think I went a bit too simple. Yeah, there is such a thing as too minimalist. Gotta love making YouTube videos. So as the light's starting to come up and the mist is beginning to burn off, it's giving such a nice atmosphere. I'm just looking down the beach here. I've got a bit of soft light and in the distance, I can just see the promenade and the seafront all hazy and diffused through the light and the mist. And it just looked fantastic. It looked like a painting. So that's what I'm trying to capture now. I'm not sure it's a wise decision to be in the water with a long exposure because as the waves come in and out they're going to vibrate and move the tripod as the tripod sinks slowly in the sand. So the trick with this type of image when you're at the water's edge is to just relinquish control. Um, I cannot control what these waves are doing. I have very little control over my composition. So I'm just going to stand here and I'm going to shoot as sets of waves roll in and hope that I can capture the right wave. That, that The wave that gives me that perfect balance and composition and you know split between lovely clean sand and the waves that's what I'm after but that can take a long time so we'll pretty much stay here shooting and shooting and shooting well whilst we wait for that oh I just got breached my wellies just got breached right yes whilst I now wet wet whilst I wait with wet feet for that perfect wave flipping heck you wouldn't think I'd do this YouTube thing all the time would you Anyway, let me thank the sponsor of this video, which is Squarespace. Now, if you don't know who Squarespace are, they're an all-in-one website building platform. So as a photographer, if you want your own website, but you don't know where to start or how to build one yourself, then definitely go and look at Squarespace because they have a really intuitive drag and drop system where you can log on and just build your own website using templates. And it's so simple and so straightforward, but you get a really professional looking website. You can register your own domain, and they've got 24 seven customer service or customer support. So if you get stuck, then you can give them a call and they'll help you out. But my advice, uh, sorry, worst sponsor delivery ever. My advice is go on YouTube, watch a couple of tutorials and you can knock out a professional looking website in no time at all. So if you fancy that, go to squarespace.com forward slash Heaton and give it a free try. And if you like a free, tri free trial, use the offer code Heaton for 10% off your first purchase. <laughs> Right, I've been stood in this water for too long now, so I'm going to leave you with the image that I've captured 
and looking at the amount of people knocking around, the way that the light's getting brighter and the mist is fading, I think we're gonna call it a morning. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this week's video. On my website I have two books available for purchase and I'll leave links in the description below. Thank you for watching and I will see you all hopefully next week.